So, you reckon a living planet in reality would be exactly like how Ego was presented in Marvel Comics, a gigantic planet-sized entity. Let's break that down. From what we know about how planets form and how life began here on Earth, this idea is a bit hard to process. Just because you've got all the ingredients for life peppered throughout huge agglomerations of rocks, liquids and gases held together by gravity, it, it doesn't mean a single life form can spring into existence from it. On Earth, it was a complex surface chemistry that eventually led to single-celled organisms, and only over some four billion years later did that evolve into large creatures like blue whales and sequoia trees. A singular living planet, though, would put those giants of Earth to shame. Because to be gravitationally rounded, we're talking about a being at least 400 to 600 kilometers in diameter, depending whether it's mostly ice or rock. But even if it were just that size, there probably wouldn't be enough mass for the planet to keep hold of an atmosphere. So it'd actually need to be way bigger just to be able to breathe. But with greater size means a greater energy requirement to sustain itself. Now, maybe if we're talking about some giant plant or fungus covering the entire planet's surface, sustained by vast underground oceans and the energy of its star, we could conceivably have some sort of living planet. A living planet that most definitely wouldn't be sentient. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, don't forget you can click and watch the other options for a living planet just over there. Uh, and do let me know in the comments if you agree with my thoughts. And also you can like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more.